You know, in, in Germany, it's very common to have non-grocery items at grocery stores. Here, that's not the case. So how do you use your brand and your power to get people to come into Lidl for something other than food? I mean, to be honest, we just have to wait and see how America will react um, to fashion in a supermarket. Um, it works in Europe. Um, but a designer has never really made anything for the supermarket Lidl before. So I'm the very first one to do this, which I'm super proud of. But I do think that we're taking one step of work away from women because you know we're all so busy. We have so much to do. We have our kids, we have our loved ones, we have to go to work, you have to cook, you have to iron, you want to try to go to the gym if you even can. So there's so much to do. If I can take already one step out of that woman's day, right? So when she goes, gets her groceries, and hey, this, I don't know, a hoodie that she likes or a great pair of jeans that she likes, and then she looks at the price tag and she's like, wait a minute, these jeans are $15? Why not? So if I can do that, I think um, I've sold one little problem for someone. How did this come about? Who approached whom? Well, Lidl actually did approach me. They asked me if um, I wanted to do a collection with them. So I looked further into it because for me, what was important is um, how are the clothes being made? Where are they being made? Who is making the clothes? Um, because I wanted to make sure that everything is kosher, that they really are taking care of everything and they do, they promise me that they do so that I can really just think about making great clothes. Because I always said, how can you make these pieces for that price, how is that possible? But it is possible because we go into 10,000 stores in over 30 countries, and that is how they keep the price down. Because it's the same like when you make your business card, you print your business card, if you do 100 or if you do 1,000, right, the price goes down. So that is the same concept here. So I get to make great clothes with great quality for a great price. So that was important for me that the pieces are actually having a great touch. A great yes, you, you have so many collaborations and obviously famous television personality, famous model. When you come into a project like this, do people say, oh, you know what, Heidi, you know, you're the talent here. We'll take care of the details. How, how engaged are you? And how do you push back when people give you that grief, as I imagine they have over the years? Uh, I'm used to people looking at me, judging me. I think I'm just in that business. So I have a pretty tough skin and I don't really care. I do my thing. Ultimate, ultimately, at the end of the day, it's up to women out there. Either they like what I created for them or they don't. So we have to wait and see. But in terms of um, creating and making the pieces, um, and it has been like that with every single partner that I've had, is that they're always like, oh, you want to approve that? Oh, you're actually going to do that? Oh, you're bringing samples? Oh, you're doing the fitting? Oh, you want to change? I think people have always been surprised over the years that I actually do everything from A to Z. The only thing that I don't do, I don't sew anything because I can't sew, but I do everything from the beginning to the end. I do the packaging, what color it is, um, pretty much everything. How do you say kick butt and take names in German? I'm, I'm kidding. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.